All right, uh, that's about it, everybody. It's time for us to begin with Persona 5. All right. I guess some people were, for some reason, were expecting that I was going to address my personal life on today's pre-stream. Uh, I had, I said everything that I have to say about the situation last night on Twitter. And as I said on Twitter, I'm not going to make a video about it, nor am I going to talk about it, because there's nothing to talk about. If you do want to talk, the bottom line is, because of my life, you know, changes going on right now, um, if you haven't noticed, in the past few weeks, uh, I've actually been working more. You may not have noticed, because I did kind of just slide it in there, but I've been working a lot more. Uh, every day I've been working, I, I didn't take any days off in the past two weeks. When I was taking a day off one day a week, I haven't taken any days off. Um, I'll be streaming longer when it when it's appropriate. So, for example, if I want to do a midnight release or if I want to do a longer stream than usual, I'm not really... I'm, I'm not now conforming or stuck in a set schedule. Let's put it that way. So, if I'm playing a game and I'm having a good time, I don't have to say, Alright, well, I have to stop right now because dinner's ready. You know, it's nothing like that. So, it's a lot going to be a lot different, I think. You know, a lot of people have said, how, how is this going to change? Um, well, I mean, it's going to basically go back to the way it was from 2009 to 2013. And if you don't remember how that was, all right, um, back when I was in Connecticut, before I ever moved to Washington, you know, my schedule was my own. Everything was... Uh, Everything was kind of uh, on the fly. It wasn't like every day I had this completely set deal, right? So things are different now. Where I'm kind of going back to that formula. Now what I'd like to do is I would like to try to at least maintain some kind of work-life balance so that I'm not going crazy here and I'm losing my mind because I'm constantly on stream or constantly making videos and I have no downtime at all. And I mean, eventually I probably will want to start taking a day off every once in a while to do stuff on my own. And, you know, there's going to have that. There's always going to be that element. But, um, but yeah, the bottom line is I'm kind of going back to where I was uh, before the changes in 2014 when I moved across the country and basically my whole life changed. Uh, you know, it's going to be a little different. All right. For, uh, honestly, in regards to streaming and the videos and everything, this is a positive thing. This is a good thing. It's back to kind of being more of a master of my time and a master of my life rather than being, oh, well, well now we got this, this constraint here and this schedule here and I got to adhere to this and adhere to that. All right. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Today, double stream, you know, with Tekken... I'll have a little bit more flexibility with the streaming. Like I said, I won't have to stop definitively at a certain time or anything like that. So, all right, everybody. So that is it. Thank you. And I believe we shall begin now with Persona 5. Sound good? Ooh. Uh, oh, my God. Excuse me. All right, let us begin with Persona 5. Okay. I expected a bunch of trolls to be in here, but by the way, they'll be gone soon. Because as I said, I'm not going to address any of this. I'm not. I'm not addressing anything in regards to that stuff. You know, the only difference, like I said, is that you'll see a minor change in schedule, maybe. And a little bit, I'll be working a little bit more. But outside of that, I'm not. I refuse to address it and create any kind of drama. So, um, that's it. So, all you guys who are here for drama, you're, you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> I'm going to be playing Persona today. <clears throat> Alright, let's get rid of this. Because, you know, I'm not stupid. I noticed that we've got over 500 people here on a Persona 5 stream when typically we only get two to 300. So I know there's like 200, 300 people here just to, in the hopes of drama. That's not going to fucking happen. So. <laughs> All right. Let's boot her up. Oh. Ah, I got a $2 tip from I Got Your Corona. <laughs> Someone's drinking Coronas. He says, why not a Bloodborne Redemption DLC run? Uh, I already explained this. I tried it. I don't have Bloodborne. Okay, I don't have a save file in Bloodborne. A, f uh, a fan of mine actually created a save file for Bloodborne, all right, and tr gave me all their account information, and I tried to download Bloodborne in the DLC, and it doesn't work. It doesn't let you download it. So there's really no way to do it unless I go back and I replay the entire game of Bloodborne from the start to get to the DLC, which I'm not willing to do because it's going to be 
10 hours of gameplay I've already done that no one wants to see. Everyone wants to see the DLC. No one wants to see the 10 hours of gameplay necessary to get back to the DLC. And I don't have 10 hours to waste. So it's a dead, it's a dead idea. I've explained this a million times. It's a dead idea. It can't happen. The bottom line is, I'm not going back to Twitch. It's just not going to happen. Well, Bobulator Ross, FYI, I appreciate that you're cheering, but I'm not going to respond to the things you're saying because you're saying ridiculous things that are, you know, could be found to be offensive. So I am not going to read your messages. It's my prerogative if I want to actually read the message or not, and if you're doing it for trolling purposes, uh, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, my neck. Ah, oh, there we go. Crack the neck before I start. All right, is everyone ready? Now, I'm going to need everyone's opinions on stuff I should be doing because I'm not sure exactly uh, what I was in the middle of last time I played. I think it's Sunday, so I think I could I could do the drink, but I didn't do the drink yet. Um, Yeah, how much money do I have? 38000 Okay. People are saying maybe call Becky. Can I call Becky on a Sunday night? I don't know. I don't know if she's available. <laughs> Dark Viking 159 did a 10-bit cheer. He said, crack your neck, son. Uh, Flair gave me a tip. He said, it's Sunday, so pay the fortune teller. He says, go get, go see what drink is available. See what stat it's going to boost. Go to the fortune teller. Pay the fortune teller to get that stat boost. Then go back and drink the drink, and you'll get a double boost. Yeah, but it's also going to cost 10000 which I only have 38000 left, so I don't know if I want to spend 10000 on one little stat boost. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you, Stuart. Stuart gave me a dollar tip, but he actually left kind of a personal message, so I'm not going to read his message. That's why he only tipped a buck so that you wouldn't see it, I guess. But thank you, Stuart, for the tip and the message. I appreciate it. Thank you to Bobulator Ross again, who did another 130-bit cheer. And thank you to Captain DCW, who did a 15-bit cheer. This is... Oh. Well, thank you, everyone, for your sentiments, but that's not the purpose of the stream, so please don't make the whole stream about that. I told you, this is a normal gameplay session, no drama, all right? If you want to send me messages about that stuff, I would say limit it to Twitter or send me an email. Don't make the whole stream chat about that today, okay? I'm glad, actually, I didn't start recording yet so that I could get that out of the way. The bottom line is, you know, I should say this, too. We The way we did it, this is the, the whole breakup thing happened over three weeks ago. So you guys weren't even knowing what was going on at the time, but for me, it's already over with. Like, it happened three weeks ago. So I know if to you it's new news. To me, it's old news. I'm, I've already way past it. I've been working more. You know what I mean? Like, I'm already three weeks later past it. So, no, I didn't say two weeks on Twitter. You're, you stop talking out of your ass. <laughs> stop talking out of your ass. I said she moved out two weeks ago, but we broke up before that. That's what I said. <laughs> I love how people like to spin shit. They already, they're trying to microanalyze what I said to find a flaw. When in reality, you're just fucking microanalyzing bullshit. Looking for drama that doesn't exist, so. Bobulator Ross did a 260 bit cheer. He says, What is the dollar to bit conversion ratio? Um, one bit is one penny. So you just cheered 260 bits. I that's two dollars and sixty cents for me. There you go. Here's your answer. By the way, if you don't notice, people are leaving the stream because there's no drama. They're starting to leave now. They're like, oh, I feel like just drama. Well, I'm out of here. I don't want to see actual gameplay or any positivity. I wanted negativity and drama, and I wanted him to spill the dirt on his breakup and all that. You know, because they're fucking morons. Because <laughs> anyone who would want to hear that drama is a fucking low-life moron. All right. Can we now start, please? <laughs> Can we now start? Do we get it out of our systems? Can we now begin and people stop talking about this this nonsense? Okay. All right, let's begin. Welcome back, everyone, to Persona. What the heck happened? Why is my camera, like, hanging off the side here? What the... Hold on a second. What, what the heck? Somehow the artwork wasn't straight. That was weird. I had no idea. I have no idea what just happened there. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, I don't have my, my uh, lamp on all the way either. Hold on. Because I wasn't ready to start and all of a sudden I saw the camera was like sticking off the edge. I was like, huh? <laughs> Hold on. Got the right lamp sitting on now. Alright, 
So we're going to start shortly, everyone. Hello and welcome. Good evening. How's everyone doing? Hopefully the answer is well. This is my second stream for the day. This will be a, a briefer one. It's going to be around 90 minutes to two hours long, depending on how the connections are and everything here tonight. <clears throat> How's it going to go? Well, I'm just going to be doing random online ranked matches. It's very simple. Online ranked matches... Uh, with the characters that I've been playing with a lot, including Batman, Aquaman, maybe some Dark Side, you know. Probably just those three, honestly. Uh, those are the ones that I kind of got a better handle of during the course of playing Injustice 2 for a couple of weeks. And this is the last hurrah for Injustice right now. Um, after tonight's session, I will be, you know, jumping into Tekken 7 starting tomorrow. That's going to be my whole weekend going into next week. Will be Tekken 7. Um, and I'm excited for that, obviously. And it's a totally different kind of game, right? Totally different kind of fighting game uh, compared to Injustice. So it's going to be good, I think. And I'm, I, I hope you're looking forward to it. You know, all day tomorrow, all day Saturday. One stream on Sunday, probably all day Monday. I'll be doing tons of gameplay of Tekken 7. But I said, you know what? Before we head into Tekken 7, let's give Injustice 2 a proper send-off here, right? Let's give it a proper session, a proper send-off. Um... And see how it goes. Okay? Apparently, uh... Sadly, there's some people that are getting harassed in the stream chat by whisperers. I obviously apologize for that. If you're getting whispered by people, you don't know who the hell they are, you don't know what the fuck they're talking about and they're bothering you, just ignore them. It's the ignore command on Twitch, which is, what, forward slash ignore and then a space and then the name. And then you won't get their messages anymore. Uh, I know how annoying it can be, but sadly, that's one of the problems with Twitch is there's really no, no way to defend yourself against that stuff. When we had the older... Uh, chat, the IRC chat, there were ways to just set it so you couldn't get messages, but you can't do that on Twitch, so. Kind of sucks. Um, it is what it is, but I did not, uh, you know, uh, it, there are ways around it. The ignore command is very useful. All right. Why uh, Ben Boxer says, "Why did Tekken 7 get released so close to Injustice 2?" I don't know. That's what I that's what I said when I first heard that Tekken 7 was going to be out only 2 weeks after a super hype fighting game. I was like, "That's kind of like you're taking the wind out of the sails because now what's going to happen is people are going to be divided on which game they like better, right? And it's eventually going to just it's going to cannibalize the the market. It's going to cannibalize the fighting game market to have two high-profile fighting games released right next to each other. And also, that's why, I don't know if you guys even are aware of this, Ultra Street Fighter 2 came out last week on the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you ever talk about a fighting game that was completely eaten up by the rest of the market, that would be it. A fighting game only released on one particular console that not a lot of people have, who are hardcore gamers. And it's released in a week between the two weeks that two other major fighting games are released. I mean, what the fuck? That is just bad. <laughs> that is just terrible. I can't imagine that anyone bought that fucking game, honestly. Seriously. Well, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see, but I don't know, you know, again, I, I'm sure there... I'm sure we don't have sales numbers yet. The game just came out a week ago. Not even. It was Friday of last week when it was released, but... I'd be very curious to hear what sales numbers were for that Street Fighter game. <laughs> ah. WJR02003 says you can completely block and even report whispers. If you're on mobile, click on the person harassing you, then click the gear and hit block. If on PC, you can report the whisper and it will automatically block them. Aha! Well, that was a useful message from WJR. Thank you for that info, WJR. I suggest everyone use this info to their advantage tonight.
All right. What time is it? It's almost 7.30. I was figuring 7.30 we'd start. Give it, give people a few extra minutes to join here. And yes, I will be doing ranked matches tonight. Therefore, we won't have to deal with the stupid fucking equipment system of this goddamn game that screws everything up. Kondeka is trying to ask about the subscriber badge. The way it works is when you sub to a channel, you get the subscriber badge, and then after three months, you earn a better subscriber badge. And then after six months, and then a year, and then two years, And but you have to be a consistent and consecutive su subscriber. You can't let it lapse more than a couple days, because if you do, then you lose the badge, and you have to start from scratch. Okay, are we good? Should we get set up here? Let me get my headphones on. Okay. Alrighty, the last hurrah for injustice, folks. The last hurrah. No Gwenton Chill, no update on Patreon yet. There's a few people who actually did update their pledges and a few processed, but typically it takes a day or two for everyone to check their PMs and get the deal. And then what I got to do is sit down and look at all the pledges over the month of May, and I got to do some math crunching. So I'm probably not going to have the results till like Sunday, honestly. Uh, uh, ooh, excuse me. Woo! <clears throat> okay. Mother box. I'm curious how our guild is doing before we start. I'm just curious to see if we got any more members. We have 21 members now. Looks like we earned a bunch of stuff when I wasn't playing. Look. Nice. All right. Ranked matches, here we go. By the way, just a reminder, if you do cheer, sub, or tip me tonight, I will give you a shout-out. However, it has to wait until in between matches. I obviously can't respond to that stuff during a match, all right? Looks like a good ping. All righty, folks. Oh, I thought I had him. Nice. Good match. Good match. I had him, and I didn't do the timing right with my combo. Good match. That's really cool. He has a good mid-range game. I like that. Good mid-range game. He was doing good anti-airs. He was doing good everything. Good, All good mid-range stuff. Really solid stuff, so... That's a match I don't mind losing to, because it was a good one. It was because the guy was good. He had me zoned, but he was also doing impressive hit strings and fair combos. That was a fun match. That's one I don't mind losing to, because it actually wasn't lag or, or some online spammer. The guy was actually good. That's the difference, ladies and gentlemen, between a good match and a terrible online scrub match. That was a good match. So, What a final set I had of Injustice. Uh, it sucked. I, I can tell you right now, the connections are way worse right now than they were a week or two ago when I was playing the game more actively. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's because there's less people playing now. People are moving on to other stuff. Or I have no idea, but the connections were not very good tonight. But <clears throat> So that is it for this uh, set. And, you know, I, every once in a while, if I feel like it, I probably will go back to Injustice 2 
uh, for a random set here or there just to keep my skills kind of up to snuff. And when the DLC characters come out, I may or may not check them out. I haven't decided yet, but for the most part, that was fun. It was fun. A fun two and a half weeks of me playing Injustice 2 and experiencing it with all of you. And I hope that you enjoyed my coverage of it. Alright, that's it. That's it, folks. Thank you. A special thank you shout out to no Nod Narby, who did a 50-bit cheer. And again to Jack Spartacus, who did a 40-bit cheer. Thanks to everyone who was here tonight for the stream, even though the connections were absolutely god-awful and I raged almost the whole time. Uh, that's it. For Injustice 2 for the launch coverage. Peace out. All right, everyone. All right, everyone. So, tomorrow, everybody, Tekken. Tomorrow, Tekken begins. I hope you'll be here for that. We'll do the story first. Then I'll probably be checking out what other modes are in the game. Do some training mode. The usual stuff I do offline. And then eventually, I'll be doing online sets this weekend as well. <clears throat> so, hopefully, we'll see you all uh, tomorrow. Okay? That's it, everyone. Have a good night. Peace out. See you later.